welcome to my channel my name is Satilla and this is masterpiece all right let's make some crazy multi-axis turning I have seen these type of turnings many times but they don't normally show you how to do it today I will attempt to figure it out let's go mustard piece we are going to make this yeah baby and we are going to make it from this yeah baby i mean from half of this we don't need all of this yeah baby so now we have to transfer this to this yeah baby The only thing I need is these three points accurately, nothing else. This one doesn't matter, none of these matter, only I want to cut it and that's why I draw it on. Unfortunately none of my machines are large enough to cut this block, so... And so. Moment of truth. I miscalculated. No, I did not. I could have even make it a little bit wider, but I don't know how much it is going to bounce. Because my lathe is fairly light, so it might be too much already. So let's work with this. Alright, slow it down as much as possible. Put my camera as far as I can, safety gear and turn it on ok, too much weight, it's not going to work let's start with the middle so we shave off some weight and hopefully that will help. Okay, try it again. I mean this one will work but I only need that much plus the mortise so probably I could cut off that much and that would reduce the weight greatly So at this point I am like there is no way I will get anything decent out of this it was a stupid idea and it is not going to work so here is what I recorded at the time well I am struggling with this a little bit I am figuring it out as it goes and uh, I'm not sure what's the best way but I am not ready to give it up just yet so let's continue.
So basically what I done, I just painstakingly slowly started to remove material from two of the spheres and switching between them back and forth. So basically you have to drill a wormhole screw hole into both sides. So yeah, that basically did the trick, but I also developed a simple technique that will help you to speed up this process a little bit. I will show you in a minute. Let's get back to the video. Basically I have this thing. I need to see something promising before I can continue the work. So that's why I switched to sending because I, I want to see something decent. I want to see if this thing is even possible. Otherwise I might give it up. So I started to shave the outside. It was premature, but at least it's give me some kind of uh, reward if you know what I mean. So here is a simple trick that I picked up during this project. Obviously certain parts of this sphere cannot be turned because there are three stuck together and it's not circular anymore. So let's go back in time to the day when I recorded this video. I have a crazy idea that I would like to try and we will see if it works or not. And if it works, it's going to make things much, much better. Let's try it curve tool rest with a platform hot glued to it. So I grab my rotary carver and I put it flat on the tool rest. And don't move the rotary carver, you only move the piece that is in the chuck and this way you will create a circular motion. So first I started with a spiral cutter but then I later realized it, is, it works much better with the extreme coarse circular work and it even works with the long neck angle grinder that I have. All right, let's hollow it out and make lid. Shaping the lid will be difficult. Nothing about this is easy. The nothing about this is easy. This is probably the most technical turning I have ever done. And I say it a lot because every time I make something that is more difficult than before, but this one is step up like two notches or something.
By the way, off camera I am going to change the lid because I don't like them. So now let's make some kind of base. I am going to make bases similar to a goblet because that's kind of funny. Fits the design. You can see, let's see. Mustard piece. Thank you for watching.